place. <laughs> Give him a date and time to be somewhere and you can bet he's never gonna make it on time. <laughs> so when did that start? When did what start? I don't recall you being a morning drinker. <laughs> One drink does not make me a morning drinker. Besides, today's my day off. No, but a, uh, what the hell is that thing anyway? It's a Cosmotini. A Cosmotini? Mm -hmm. Is that even a real thing? It is for me. Well, a Cosmotini at uh, 1138 in the morning, that's what makes you a morning drinker. You want a drink, Max? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, really, Liz. After years of your accusations, I start to believe that, you know, maybe I do drink a little bit too much. And now you, you what are you even thinking? I'm thinking, why not? It's my turn, and you're not going to be much my problem for much longer. Well, thanks, Liz. It's nice to see you, too. Mm-hmm. Have you spoken to Rachel lately? What the hell is going on in there, huh? <sighs> she landed herself in the hospital again. Who landed in the hospital again? Rachel, our daughter, are you even listening? <laughs> what is it this time? Same thing. <sighs> When was the last time you talked to her? Yesterday. And not one mention about a trip to the hospital. You know, what the hell? I mean, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, this? <laughs> this is her mess. <laughs> really, I think you ought to have a talk with her. About what? Her poor housekeeping habits? I'm serious, Max. I'm serious. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to her, she says, with a com Cosmotini in her hand at 1138 in the morning. You know, maybe you should talk to her. Wait, here's an idea. Maybe we should both talk to her together. Oh, yeah, wait, we, we tried that. Didn't work. I'm just saying, please, Max, I don't know what to do. I'm worried. No sense worrying. I'm not gonna change a thing. Well, what will change something? I mean, do you have any insight on that in your sobriety? Listen, Liz. She's got this, and we all got this until we don't. And then it's, oh, we may have a problem here. And she's going to have to come to that realization herself. <sighs> got the papers. Oh, good. Great. You notice I've tabbed every place where you need to sign? Yeah. You need a pen? Hilarious. <laughs> Not signing them today. What? Yeah, Liz. I mean, this divorce is not amicable. You know, it's been non-confrontational at best. What? I don't understand. We agreed to do this. I agreed to meet you like this. That's all. And uh, that's it, so bye. What? That's it? Wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's best, Liz. Uh, I took the day off for this, Max. I thought we were going to come to an agreement. And what else did you think, huh? That we were going to make a day of it? Have lunch? Walk hand in hand through the neighborhood and talk about old times? Where's your head at? You know, you don't have to get ugly with me, Max. I'm not getting ugly with you, but I've decided to get a lawyer. Can you even afford a lawyer? How are you going to pay a lawyer? I sold the Audi. Oh. You know, maybe you should be asking yourself, well, why'd you do that, Max, huh? You want to know why? I got a call from my agent. He got a call from my publisher, and he got a call from your lawyer. You subpoenaed my royalty contracts. Uh, Max, I didn't subpoena anything. They're just looking out for me. They're looking out for my interest. Your uh, interest? Yes, my interest. I really- I, 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 that's all I've been hearing from you for years now. Oh, Look, Max. I've supported you for the last two years. I'm entitled to some of your earnings. Oh, yeah? Well, then I'm entitled to yours. Who supported you while you were getting your degree, huh? Who worked for the agency? Who, wore, who wrote the ad copy that paid for your law school? No, oh, I don't think the judge is going to see it like that. I think he's going to see that you quit a perfectly good job and went to diddle in a little dingy theater someplace and left the support of both of us up to me. That's how you're hoping he'll see it. Even you know that's not what it was. So, uh, <clears throat> who's the brunette? What are you talking about now? 
You know she's taller than you, right? What does she have to do with anything? Well, you two have been spotted together quite a lot lately. In fact, it seems you're rather chummy. It's because we're friends, Liz. I mean, really, what the hell? Who is she, Max? Do you have people following me or something? Just answer my question. Who is she? She's a new hire at the theater, and there's mm. nothing going on. Okay, what's her name? How is that even important? It's important to me because I want to know. You know. Maybe you should put that thing down. Her name is Krista, if you must know. Now answer my question. Do you have people following me? <laughs> Unbelievable! You know, you are unbelievable, you know that? You wanted the divorce, and now you want to play me for the bad guy? You wanted this divorce. You're the one who's changed, not me. That's right, Max, I did change. Because I went to law school, and I worked hard to become partner. I wanted to change, I wanted success. Success makes you change. When did this all go sideways? Oh, I can tell you exactly when it happened. It was when we sold the house in L.A. and you moved here full time. Yeah, but before that, our lives together were just dates and times when we might see each other. Yeah, I thought that was working out really well. We talked about this, Liz. We agreed to sell the house. No, we talked about selling the house. But we did not talk about you giving up your screenwriting job. I didn't give it up. I'm just not doing much of it right now. You're not doing much of anything. And you know, that was good money. We talked about that too, Liz. Now I clearly remember telling you I was gonna focus on my stage plays. You know what? There's no point in us even going over any of this again. Oh, <laughs> there is a point, Max. Because I want you to know where I'm coming from, what I want, and why I'm divorcing you. Well, that's pretty clear. Really? Is it, Max? Mm -hmm. Well, then you tell me. Where am I coming from? What do I want, and why am I divorcing you? I'm not doing this right now, Liz. Oh, how did I know that was coming? I could have said that for you. You're so damn predictable. Remember, Max, I know you. I'm not kidding, Liz. I ain't doing it. Of course you're not, because you were so wrapped up in yourself, you cannot see what's going, around, going on around you, and, oh, and what's right in front of you? No, yeah, that's not true. Oh, it is not? You don't think I know what's going on right in front of me? Mm -mm. I will tell you, I don't know where you're coming from. And I don't know what you want because I don't know you. But I do know why you're divorcing me. Oh. It's I don't make enough money. Maybe it's because I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Max, see, you're just as smart as I thought you were. Of course it's about the money. <laughs> and it's also about the fact that you haven't brought in any income in the last two years, let alone the last three, four months that we were together. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to right there, Liz. <laughs> you know, you're the lawyer, and I'm about to get you on a technicality. Mm -hmm. You just said I haven't brought much in in, what was it, the last two years? And nothing in the last three months we were together? Mm -hmm. I have my royalties coming in. Oh. You yourself just said that was good money. Now, how could you not remember that? You just subpoenaed my contracts. Max, you know what I mean. And by the way, how much of that screenwriting money is actually left? Let me remind you that most of that money was spent on that apartment for you. You had to have it. Mm, and you bought the Audi. What, you want, I mean the one I just sold so I can get a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Who I hope is going to be able to protect me from that horde of barbarians you call partners. Why? Why are you trying to hurt me? No one's trying to hurt you, Max. We're getting a divorce, and this is the way a divorce goes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't agree. Well, you're getting a lawyer, and he's going to tell you the same thing. Maybe he will. But I want to be the one to tell you I'm not going to just lie down. Hey, you want a divorce? You want the apartment? Fine. But now you want my royalties? I'm going to fight you on that, Liz. That's my income right now. Aren't you still managing that theater? Yes, and you know that I agreed to defer my salary until they get over this financial condition. And, and uh, that is your problem, Max. I was gonna tell you something.
No, when are you going to get? What I was going to say. The only thing I want to hear from you. Listen, I said I was going to get a lawyer, and I'm going to get one. Well, what have you been doing, Max? Besides that girl Claire or whatever her name is. I told you there is nothing going on. But if you're going to keep dragging her into this, at least get her name right. It's Krista. What? Krista. You are not going to drag this out. I just got the money for the car. Would you give me a chance? No, I won't. Max, you need to get a lawyer. Listen, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one this week. I have to. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in really bad need of a good lawyer. Do you think you could give me some referrals? Ha 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 ha. You think you're so funny. What do you want, Max? I'll tell you what I want. I want to go, okay? Max, I'm serious. I'm being serious now. I'm serious too. I gotta go. I got things I gotta do. Don't run away, Max. You can't run away from this. I am not running away, but I will be moving on. Oh, are you? Are you, Max? Because it seems like you've been going backwards in the last couple of years. See, see, this, this is what I don't get. <laughs> Actually, this is what you don't get. What don't I get? For you, success, moving forward, mm -hmm. it's all about the money, more money, and nothing but the money. Yeah, and? Yeah, and I thought you knew me. You know, there was a time when I thought we were on the same page, but, you know, now I look back on it, and I, it was, maybe it was just a coincidence, or maybe just the timing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about finding success in personal fulfillment, not personal finance. And that, I would say, would be a matter of opinion. Oh, really? Opinion? So now you want to divorce me over a difference of opinion? Well, if that's the way you want to look at it, sure. Okay, okay, well, I got to go. I got a lot of things to do before I leave. What do you mean you have a lot of things to do? Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going out of town for a couple of weeks. You're going out of town for a couple of weeks? When? Next Tuesday. What? Where are you going and when were you planning to tell me this? I was planning on telling you today. Well, I just did, so. I'm going to England. England? This, uh, what the hell is in England? London. Oh, let's not play any games, Max. What's going on? Why are you going to London? I'm directing a play. My agent found this theater that was interested in doing a new American play, and we submitted a, some of my more recent works, and I got a call. Whoa, how long? A couple of weeks. Really? Are these couple of weeks like a couple of hours, Max? <sighs> They're going to be doing a three-week run, so I'm going to be gone for a total of 12 weeks. 12 weeks? 12 weeks is not a couple of weeks. That's a couple of months. Oh, you are unbelievably selfish. Well, I'm so glad you're happy for me, Liz. And why don't you just have another drink? That's going to make everything all better, huh? Yeah, I don't even know why you should care. You're divorcing me, remember? Liz, I can't hear you anymore. Are you there? I th In your drunkenness, I think you muted yourself. Oh, very funny. Have you told Rachel yet? I did, yesterday. Oh, and I suppose next you'll be telling me that you're taking uh, Christy or whatever her name is with you? Close. Her name is Kristen. No, I'm not going to be taking her with. And by the way, the reason your 007 has spotted us together recently is I've been getting her up to speed on what's been going on at the theater. She's going to manage it while I'm gone. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? It's true. <laughs> And Rachel, what do you expect me to do with Rachel? I've got a big case coming up and I'm the lead counsel. About that. About what, Max? She wants to come with? Oh, absolutely not. She is not going to London with you. It's not your decision, Liz. She's a grown adult. <laughs> oh, damn you, Max. I can't believe this. I can't believe she's going to go with you. You're going to have to take that up with her. I can't believe this. How can you do this, Max? You're divorcing me, Liz. We're not a team. We're not together in this anymore. <sighs> what 
about the papers? How am I going to get those papers signed, Max? I need those papers. I'm going to London, Liz, not Mars. This is not at all what I had in mind. This is not how I wanted the day to go. I'll use your words, Liz. It's not my problem. And this is how a divorce goes. You'll get the papers when my lawyer has approved them. Max, will you please just wait a minute? Oh, Liz, as we like to say in show business, I'll have my people call your people. Max, no, just wait. 